Hello everyone, thank you for watching. This video is for students, how to get to iLearn, Big Blue Button, and uh, 10 tips on how to navigate through Big Blue Button once you are there for a meeting. So the first step for students is to get to the student portal, Dearborn Public Schools student portal. Um, across the top, you'll see Clever, iLearn, all of these different icons that turn orange. You're going to click your iLearn Classrooms. Once you come in, you are always going to want to make sure that it is you that you're seeing. Your username will pop up here, and if you're on a sibling or somebody else's, you're just going to hit this drop-down box and log out and uh, log in with your Dearborn Public Schools email um, and password like you usually would to get onto like a Chromebook. Once you come, um, after you make sure that it is you, you are then going to click Dashboard. On the left hand side, there's this uh, menu. You're going to make sure you're on dashboard because then you will see all of your classes underneath enrollment code. You will not need an enrollment code to enroll in your class. Um, my students will see right here where it says Clementi's third grade um, and this school year, 1920. 19 and 20. Um, and then the first, the very first part right here is the big blue button, Clementi class chat. So you would click that. And it says, thank you for coming to class. This conference has not started yet. So join open, uh, the join opens Tuesday, April 28th at 11 o'clock in the morning. So you will have to come back to this um, exact pathway at 1055-ish on Tuesday. For today, I am going to be a mock student. I'm going to pretend to be a student and join Ms. Dexter's class. So this is an example class that I can click right here. And again, the same thing, Ms. Dexter's um, invitation is right here, first thing on my screen. So I'm just going to click it, and it says the same thing. This conference has not yet, uh, has not started yet. And it says it doesn't start until 10 o'clock. So I'm two minutes early for class. So I'm just gonna sit and wait. And I will refresh my page. Um, you can't see it in the screen uh, recorder, but when I hover my mouse, it says reload this page. So it is that swirling uh, reload refresh button, and you're just going to click that. And oh, my teacher is not here yet, so I'm, I'm just going to wait. Okay, I'm just wait a minute longer. And again, I'll click my refresh button. Okay, I'm still just gonna wait a second. You might have to wait for your teacher for a minute. So this is what it would look like if you're just waiting. And Okay, so we'll refresh one more time. And there we go, it says this conference is in progress. The session started at 10 o'clock. There are two moderators and zero viewers. So it looks like I'm the first student to join the class. And when I join, Hi, Ms. Clemente. Hi. So when you first come in, your microphone is going to be muted down here. This is your microphone mute button, and it doesn't show you that your webcam is off with the X. I actually can't show my webcam this time because I'm uh, recording my screen through a different application for this video purpose. Um, but this is where you would click to allow your face to be up in that timeline where Miss Beaver and Miss Dexter are over here. My face would pop up just alongside of them. This is where I would leave the call, um, I believe, and then this is to unmute myself. So unmuted. I'm going to unmute myself. Hi. Good morning, Ms. Clemente. Good morning. Good morning. So we were just going over how to mute yourself and to share your webcam. The next thing I wanted to show the students is this welcome box. This is what your teacher is going to display when you first come into the chat. So 
Miss um, Dexter says, welcome to Miss Dexter, Miss Clementi, and Miss Beaver's example online classroom. We miss you all. Uh, Dearborn Public Schools District Technology Department. And this is my chat, so I can respond and say, good morning. So one thing that I wanted, another thing that I wanted to show you guys is how to make this section smaller. So when you hover your mouse over these sections, I can make this chat smaller to create a larger section for the presentation. This is where my teacher, Ms. Dexter, would present something. So this welcome to big blue button white screen would turn into her presentation. So all of these other things I can make smaller. I can minimize my classmates' names if I wanted to. And I can also make these videos, uh, these tiles, larger. If, I, if, if it were the game portion of class, I could make the tiles larger and the presentation smaller, or I could make them back to their small tiles so I can concentrate on the class. Um, this presentation can also be on full screen. That's what these four arrows are right here. So if Ms. Dexter were pre presenting something and I wanted to see it on full screen, it would literally be the entire um, size of my screen. And then in the upper right-hand corner or bottom left, it will tell you to minimize it to go back to your normal size presentation screen. Um, another feature is this minimize right here. So if you accidentally minimize the presentation, it goes away. And then in this bottom right-hand corner, you have to hit the restore presentation button again. Um, Ms. Dexter actually has put in a really cool feature that there is a whiteboard. So she could write in this whiteboard and she could also make it available for students to type on there. I can't draw on there yet. She hasn't let us, she hasn't given me the capability yet as a student. She wants to give the, student the message, but she's able to write on this whiteboard and then give students a turn to answer. Oh, look, see. Hi, I can change my color in the right hand side with different uh, different tools and all of that cool things. Um, let me get back to my list here, Miss Dexter. Hold on, let's see. Um, oh, Sorry. no, I, I love that feature because I didn't put it in my list. So that's a really good one to share with the kids. Um, let's see. Oh, and you know what? If Miss Dexter goes to give the presentation and it says error, if, it's, if it has two buttons swirling, kind of like two refresh buttons, you just have to hit the refresh button on your web browser. So that happened to me every time during the training that the presenter would put on her presentation and I couldn't see anything. So I had to hit the refresh button in, uh, up by my URL where I was hitting to see the join button to join the, this session. Um, another thing is that a few teachers got an error message that it popped up. You just hit the refresh. So if you get any sort of error message or if you can't see your presentation, all you need to do is refresh your web browser and you will be uh, allowed to see that presentation. Um, so again, if I, if I want to unmute myself to talk in class, my name will come up here. But most of the time for You're class, I'm going to be muted. So now it shows that I'm muted here and, and no one can hear me. So unless Miss Dexter calls on me, she should be the only one, because she's my teacher, right? So Miss Dexter should be the only one that when she talks, okay, hold on, let me tell her because I'm muted. Talk, Miss Dexter. No one's talking right now. So no one is up there in the display. Oh, talk. Miss um, <laughs> Clemente, do you want to ask a question or should I ask a question? Okay, um, let's see. What is your favorite color? Who can answer what is your favorite color? Oh, so if I want to answer the question, I'm going to right click on my name, or excuse me, click on Ms. my Beaver, name. Miss Beaver, do you want to answer? And I can raise my hands. My favorite color is green. Yes, that is a great color. And Ms. I'm going to do you want to share what your favorite color is? I raised my hand. I see that you raised your hand. Thank you for raising your hand, Ms. Clemente. Go ahead and unmute yourself. You are now unmuted. It tells you, I love that big blue button tells you when you're unmuted, by the way. My favorite color is yellow. 
So that's what I wanted oh, to show I don't you know guys. About yellow. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I wanted to show you guys is that in class it will show you who is unmuted. So if Miss Dexter is presenting and I have a question and she doesn't see that I raised my hand, which happened perfectly, you know, that maybe a classmate didn't see that my hand was raised or that they could even do that. Maybe Miss Beaver had no idea you could raise your hand. So when you click on yourself, you will see set status and a whole drop down box will if I have to use the restroom, I can just put away. I could put, I'm undecided. Uh, Miss Dexter, I don't have a favorite color. I'm undecided. I'm confused. Maybe I don't know what colors are. Maybe I'm sad. Maybe I'm happy. Maybe I want to applaud her and tell her that she's doing a fabulous job. I want to agree, give a thumbs up or give a thumbs down. So I'm going to give my fellow teachers an applause. Thank you for joining me this morning. Just a few other things. You're very welcome. <laughs> a few other things to show you guys. Um, <clears throat> is the the public chat right here to click and then the shared notes. So that's the other thing that you can click is the shared notes. So that way, if if there's a note taker, if Ms. Dexter says, you know what, um, Ms. Beaver, can you please take notes? Um, I'm gonna give five steps on how to uh, create a Google Doc. And Ms. Beaver will, yep, hurry up and drink your coffee. And she'll click these shared notes and she'll have to type for Miss Miss Dexter and say, number one, go to, and then she would be typing. If then she says, thank you, Miss Beaver, for typing number one, and oh, what? Oh, see, look, somebody else can type in there at the same time. <laughs> so she can have, Miss Dexter can have multiple students um, typing into this same shared notes document. Um, which is pretty cool. It's kind of different than the chat box. So this shared notes might be directions um, or just even a question that she wants to pose. And then we'll switch back over to the public chat. I think you can only view one at a time. Um, so I think that is that is all um, the 10 or possibly more things that we got to show you guys today. Uh, my fellow teachers, are there anything else that you guys want to share with the classes? <laughs> No, I think you covered everything. Good job, Ms. Clemente. Hey, I couldn't do this without you guys. I appreciate it. Thank no you. No problem. For All right, I'm going to end this video. If anybody has questions, make sure you ask your teacher. And um, I'll see you guys. I'll see my students um, Tuesday at 11 o'clock on Big Blue Button. Bye.